Hey, my name is Tim Jones. I'm out of Kennesaw Park, and today I'm going to be talking to people about human drugs to see if they're aware of them. Hi, my name is Tim Jones. What's your name? Alex. Alex, nice to meet you. Thanks, so. My project is about chemtrails, and I'm wondering if people around the park is familiar with chemtrails. Are you familiar with it? I am. So, how do you feel about the effects the chemtrails could have on people? Um, not good, but at the same time, I wonder if everything that we see is chemtrail or not. Because, for example, I am a pilot, mm -hmm. and I know that when I see this, not necessarily is anybody you know, throwing gas or anything, it's just uh, cold air hitting uh, with warm air from the airplane. Many people confuse chemtrails with the normal jet contrails. The difference is that the uh, normal jet contrails actually dissipate within minutes while the heavy metals in the chemtrails cause those trails to persist for hours. And um, it's not a hypothetical thing. There are 32 states that already have legislation that's related to weather modification. So, yeah, I can understand that. But are you, how you feel about the possible chemicals being inside the uh, air pollution? Uh, I think like any good human being, we don't like the idea yeah, yeah. of you know, uh, having anything thrown away, uh, with, at least without knowing. What's, what's happening. Okay, cool. And for my last final question, do you think this is an issue? If chemicals have been thrown in the air without us knowing, yes, it is. Okay, yeah, all right. That was all, uh, thank you for the No problem. See ya. I hope you have a good You too. So what are chemtrails, you may be wondering? Well, there is a worldwide government conspiracy that the government is poisoning us all by spraying chemicals out of the 15,000 aircrafts crisscrossing the globe at any given moment. And I know what you're thinking, this woman is crazy. But before you assume that, just listen to the rest of what I have to say. Some people believe that since the mid 1990s, the government, usually the US government colluding with others around the world, has been using aircraft to secretly spray the globe with chemical agents with a range of supposed purposes, including weather modification, mind control, chemical slash biological weapons testing, stock price manipulation by damaging crops, and even causing illnesses for massive pharmaceutical companies to exploit. All right, I'm out here. With... My name is Darwin. Sammy. And today I'm gonna be asking y'all about my name is Tim, by the way. <laughs> so, the first question. Oh, God, when? <laughs> the first question are Are you familiar with chemtrails? Chemtrails? Yeah. Uh huh. That's the trails that the planes be leaving. Ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. All right. And are you aware of what the effects they have on? Theory, but I don't know if it's true though. Yeah, a lot of people is coming off like as a conspiracy theory, but like. A lot of chemtrails have possible harmful, harmful materials like titanium, zinc, copper, and those could lead to other health effects like body deterioration and mental illnesses mm. or mental diseases such as Alzheimer's perhaps. So, so what are they spraying anyway? Aluminum. It's a known neurotoxin and accumulates in the brain and in the bones. Common side effects include constipation, taste impairment, nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps, and diarrhea. Major causes of aluminum, diminishing intellectual function, forgetfulness, inability to concentrate, dementia, and Alzheimer's. Barium, toxic to humans and is soluble in the gastrointestinal tract. It also causes a dramatic drop in potassium levels, which leads to an increase in the frequency of heart attacks. Common side effects are severe stomach pain and cramping, diarrhea, constipation, chest pain, ringing in the ears, trouble breathing or swallowing, sweating, confusion, pale skin, weakness, and a fast heart rate. And last, but certainly not better, sulfur. It's a toxin that can cause serious vascular damage to the veins of the brain, heart, and kidneys. Overall, how do you feel about this issue? Uh, do you think it's an issue or? I actually do think it is it, it is an issue because 
there's so many planes that be going like everywhere like not even just in the u.s but just like japan australia africa like planes everywhere and i don't know i've never thought because it doesn't affect me like i've never if i've never thought of anything like that affecting me but there do be a lot of planes taking off like when you go to the airport you see a whole bunch of flights you see like hundreds just going everywhere all over the place and i don't know i feel like i wouldn't know what the solution would be because people got to go places and i don't know about all that but i do think that is an issue though yeah all right yeah yeah exactly but how would you feel if the government was controlling these planes are they undercover hmm. it's only the second time i've heard of this but i don't know it has me thinking now because i've never really Something you don't pay attention to, but just go on around this. It's probably very hidden for a reason, I guess. Yeah, probably low-key for a reason. But, um, yeah, thank you for participating, y'all. I appreciate it. Sure, bro.